night market season. Yay! So a couple of things that are different from really recent events. I've taken out one whole sticker panel and I've turned it into a large sticker display and I've set it off to the side so that it doesn't get confused with the three inch stickers. I've put the postcards kind of more in the middle. I forgot a couple of things, including acrylic pins, which would normally go here. So I'm gonna bring those tomorrow. And then I still have a poster on display, but now I also have a poster catalog as well as posters displayed on the side, which I'll point out in a little bit. Um, since it is night market season, we've got the space and the time. The wisteria and the lanterns are all out now. We have added more clothing displays. And then my favorite new part, over here. This is that giant mirror I bought in one of my other vlogs. And uh, going a size up was a little bit of an accident, but I don't think I regret it. Like, look how fun this is. The cute selfie moment. It's night market season, yay! Here, we're set up, it's like 3.40, almost four o'clock. It started at three. But the thing with these night markets is that people do not go shopping for merchandise right away. They're all hungry, so we kind of took our sweet time setting up. <laughs> but we're all set up. I really like the new setup, but I am completely out of steam already. I think I've overheated. I. I definitely need like a nice cool drink or something, but now that we're all set up, we can just sit down and cool off. The electricity is not on yet for some reason, so that's annoying. Um, as soon as it is though, we're gonna turn the blast the fans in here. A couple other thoughts. We are in a different part of the event than we were both times last year. We are in the row that, from what I remember, was a lot more busy. I hope that will be the case again this time around. Um, from what I could tell, it looked like it was the better part of the event, like where you want to be in placement. So I was really excited when I got it. I almost got exactly what I requested too, so that's cool. But we'll see, people are here, but it is like pretty stupid hot. Uh, so I don't expect to see more people until the evening, which is pretty standard of night markets. I think that's all I got for now. I will check in with more updates later. Oh, I also forgot tote bags. Uh, so no, I can't offer any $75 plus deals today, but I will definitely have those for the rest of the weekend. my name and age. I told him I'm 30 and he walked away. <laughs> I was gonna go explore some more, but it is so hot. I am just like, I'm melting. <laughs> also, I thought this was gonna be the busy side, but it is so much busier where we used to be because it's so much cooler over there with the trees and the shade, so. Grass is always greener, I guess. How are you doing, Cody? I'm sweaty. Oh yeah, the electricity still isn't on. It's five o'clock. It would be really nice if we had electricity for the fans and the lights. Yay, we just figured out. You're supposed to turn the thing on, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, random vendor I met at Christie's booth. Yay. <gasps> it's big for $4. That's like not a night market price. <laughs> that should be like $10 here. Ooh, time to 
Lisa. <laughs> That's cool. So it's 8.24. We got an hour and a half before it ends. It's nice and busy, but still pretty slow. The same as I remember it being last year. There's definitely more foot traffic where we are compared to how it was last year. And even now when I go over there, it's definitely a little bit busier, but people are and I knew this about this show, but people are more inclined to eat than they are to shop. That's okay, especially considering Friday is slow. The real gauge, I think, is going to be tomorrow. So today we're just here for the food and the vibes. So we definitely surpassed our May show of 2023, Friday sales. And with one more purchase, we just per uh, surpassed the September show. So that's a good start. This the show is like, it's so fascinating. It's not gonna be a home run, but it'll still be pretty decent, I think, by the end of the week. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I remember this from the May show last year. These little gnats, they would crawl into my pockets and I had to like scrape them out of each pocket. So hopefully that's the only one. I saw a couple of them, maybe like one over there. Did you eat that? No. <laughs> I saw like one over there when I was sitting down. Hopefully there's not too many of them. That was a nightmare. One more hour until the first day is over. somehow forgot a third wall so we're using tablecloths that I brought and wooden clothespins to make something as long as it's not like crazy windy this should work but hopefully there's no wind good night foodie land please don't have any wind booth please stay in place
busier. It's already a lot busier than yesterday was. Sales are already way better. Um, and we still haven't really hit the like busy, busy part of the night. So I'm looking forward to today. I am sweaty, I'm tired, and I'm hungry. But that's okay. That's just part of the night market life. Night markets are a little bit of new territory for a lot of people. So if you guys are curious about what it's like to sell at a night market, if you have questions, please ask me in the comments below. I would love to answer them. I am really passionate about night markets. I think they're really fun. So I'd love to tell you guys. I just want to know whatever questions you might have. So feel free to drop those in the comments below and let's have a conversation about night markets. Must record everything we eat. This is the same thing you got last year. They never have a line. We are very low on her which is honestly very shocking to me because she historically has not been a very good seller. But these past few events, people have really been liking her, even at Lodi Comic Con. Like this one has been selling really well. So I don't have very many of her left, but I will make sure to bring a lot more tomorrow. We've also sold out of mystery bags. I still have a few left over from Lodi Comic Con. I can probably make a few more tonight. Um, so I'm gonna bring those, but I just rearranged the postcards to make them look a little bit more full. And otherwise, we're still good on other supplies. Oh, you know what we're running low on? We're running low on bags. I forgot to bring more of these for today. We have maybe like 15 left. I think this could be enough for tonight. So long as we don't have too many shirt or mystery bag purchases, but like same time, I want a lot of those. I don't know. I guess it's not the end of the world if you run out of bags, but it feels like it for me. <laughs> Happy birthday! Yay! It's so pretty! I love the one you picked too, it's so pink! Thank you! Thank you! I love you! Happy birthday! So I just got a fun message on Etsy. Um, someone's complaining to me about how they received a charge for a purchase they never made from me. So that's fun. definitely busy there's a lot of people there's a lot of traffic um, there's just not a lot of shopping at the merch booths happening even as I walk around and look at other booths um, people are just prioritizing food over merchandise which is standard of a night market but like especially so at the Sacramento location which I already knew so I'm not like disappointed or shocked this is kind of what I expected strawberries but it was on a stick and it kept falling and this presentation is cuter so I don't know which one I like better yet. my biggest goal to do for the whole weekend and we did it in just two days so I'm excited for tomorrow hopefully now we can beat the September show Foodie land. Can you see it in my eyes? 
I feel like you can see it in my eyes. I am exhausted. I just came from church too, so like I mentioned, I'm not worshiping anymore, so that's like, it's not as hard, but I did sing and play guitar too, so I, uh, you know, I really, I do really enjoy it though, so it's not like, it's not like a burden. I'm just tired. I do you want to clarify? I 150% understand that I entirely bring this upon myself. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I hope you guys realize I'm not complaining about being tired. I'm just trying to give context as to why I might look like an absolute hot mess. It's because I'm a little exhausted. But like genuinely, I've had people ask me like why I do so much and it's like, I sleep so good on event weekends. So I'm just, I'm looking forward to tonight. It's gonna feel so good to sleep in my bed and wake up at noon. I am just like so excited for it. Um, I did mention yesterday we already passed our sales goal, which was to beat the May show of 2023. We passed that yesterday already. So that's really great. Today is, oh, and then also, I mean, when you pair that with Lodi Comic Con, we're making good profits this weekend. And I'm hoping that today will fall somewhere in between Friday and Saturday as it has in the past. It usually falls like right in the middle. Although sometimes my Sundays are even better than Saturdays. So, well, I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, there's always chances of it. I do expect it to be somewhere in between Friday and Saturday though. And if we do do that, then I will have met my goal for the whole weekend, which is pretty exciting. It is Mother's Day and it is surprisingly busy for Mother's Day. I figured a lot of mothers wouldn't want to be out in this heat, but I guess they all want to spoil themselves with food, which, same. It's not as hot as it was yesterday. It's going to be in the high 80s as opposed to the 90s, so that's nice. Um, but otherwise, I'm looking forward to finishing this week off, getting some rest tomorrow, and then doing it all over again for 66 next weekend. Some lady just walked into my booth, sneezed, and then walked away. Show us the haul. Woo! Okay, I saw those ones and I kind of wanted those. <laughs> They're so cute. Three of these. Cute. And then three of these. Ooh, what is this one? Oh, my hero. They're gonna love these. So yesterday I bought three of these. Or can, this is like a night market thing for us. We are trying to collect the whole set. We have like seven of them right now. I have none of the girls and I don't have Usopp. And we don't know, I don't have this one. I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, we need scissors. Forget about this part every time. I don't need scissors. Well, show off. I'm ready. Okay. I want one of the girls. You go first. Ah, uh, okay, we already have Brooke. We already have Sanji. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is probably gonna go to some friends of mine. We got one more. Do I do it? Yeah. Oh, I was like really feeling and trying to. Oh, for you and we don't have. We have Luffy. Uh. <laughs> ah! Worst pull ever. No. I am currently on the hunt for something cool. Um, the only option I can find right now is Kona Ice, and like they come to our church all the time, and we get them for free. So like I refuse to pay for Kona Ice, but like I can't find anything else. And it's like the only thing that looks good right now. So I'm trying to find some other cool options. So I mentioned earlier that we had already passed the point of beating the May Foodie Land show of last year, 2023. And as of the last sale, we just beat the September show in 2023 as well. So very exciting. I'm really grateful to have gotten the spot that I got for the event this time around. I think that really helped. And we still haven't even hit like the busier part of the day. I do think today is gonna be slower than yesterday for sure. It's Mother's Day, it's already thinning out a lot, but I typically get a good amount of last minute pur purchases on the last day than the last few hours. So I think we still have potential to make an even better amount of money today great birthday weekend <laughs> side note but like i'm looking toasty guys i forgot to put sunscreen on my body i got on my face i always remember on my face but i forgot to put on my body and i'm looking like i'm looking brown it's, it's nice though i miss this color of me i like summer kelsey much better than winter kelsey okay so let's talk this week's best sellers so far i'm gonna zoom in a bit more first off this is my best selling shirt i think i mentioned this earlier which is really strange to me because Historically, she has been very unpopular. After her, the next best-selling design is my Slayer Girl, which that always makes me really happy. Um, another one that's doing well is our hoodie. This is the very, 
very last sleigh hoodie I have left. And once this is sold out, I'm gonna have a new design actually. And so this is the very last one, medium left. Um, okay, still talking best sellers. Mystery bags continue to do great. I'm actually surprised there's a lot of people who have never heard of the concept of mystery bags. So they see this and they get really excited just because it's it's new to them. But even if it's not new to you, it's still kind of fun. So mystery bags have done really well. I have had to go home and remake some more. So I will continue to make mystery bags just based on that success. Stickers always do solid, but like definitely I'm selling way more shirts than stickers, which I'm not gonna complain about. You know, that's a much larger profit margin. <laughs> I've also sold a decent number of posters. This catalog has been working well, for those who are interested, obviously. Um, surprisingly, my Oni girl is one of my lesser sellers this weekend, which almost never happens, so I'm very curious about that. Um, overall, though, this has been the best foodie land Sacramento for us, and we still have a few more hours left, so I think we can continue to make this even more better that makes sense but yeah especially when we pair this with Lodi Comic Con this is a great weekend um it's also my birthday weekend so that's been fun and on top of all of that I am finally getting my summer coat back so I'm very happy this is a great way to start off the night market season the last snack of the weekend, I promise. I just got one more empanada because I can't resist. Okay, so I figured I'll do like the, the closing thoughts in the mirror. But overall, we're pretty much done for the day. It is 9.40 p.m. As you can see, as you saw, some vendors are packing up. Some people have been gone for a couple hours already. My neighbors have been gone for a while. So it's just that part of the night. Um, Cody's grabbing some things to bring over so we can start packing up. I'll stay open until about 10, but 10 is gonna be automatic closing. Um, I might make like one sale or two in between there. Hopefully it'll be like a large one if I do. But overall, today and the past weekend has been really good. It's only gotten better for me. So I will definitely be returning when it works out with my schedule. But I will see you guys in the recap. Okay, let's just acknowledge the elephant in the room right now. Yes, I'm aware, my house is very messy. I normally at least try to like hide the mess when I'm filming, but like, I don't have anywhere to hide it. Like, it's, just, it's, it's a mess. Like, I have a, a bra sitting on my coffee table right now. Am I gonna fix it? No, because apparently I have better things to do, like talk to myself and film it. So let's talk foodie land. I've got my notes, I've got my thoughts. I'm gonna start off by saying this is my best foodie land Sacramento yet, and I've done a total of three of these shows one in May 2023, one in September 2023, and then the most recent one, May of 2024, being the one this I just did this past weekend. And we beat those other dates by a pretty significant amount for this show. This show should be like in its own little category. It should be like isolated basically from every other event out there in the world because it is a very unique one at least compared to the other events that i've done which by this point i've done i think somewhere between 50 to 60 events and i think that's a good amount to be able to compare it to and when i talk to other vendors too it's just foodie land sacramento she's an interesting one so i used to do my recaps as pros and cons but i felt like that was too ironically black and white so i decided to break it up into three different portions now we're going to talk data I'm gonna share some numbers, not all my numbers, and I'm gonna talk my observations, things that I learned just by being there and talking to other people, and then I'm gonna talk my conclusion, whether or not I would do this and whether or not I would recommend it to other vendors. So the booth fee for Foodie Land Sacramento is, as of 2024, $695. I opt for the monthly payment options, which is makes it a little bit higher. So in total, I ended up paying $743.54 for my booth fee. The venue Cal Expo does provide parking at $10. 
And with that $10, you are allowed to leave and come and go as you like. So that's actually really nice. Um, the parking is pretty convenient too. I've done tons of night markets and this is one of the closer ones, especially because there is a vendor entrance. One day we did have two cars. Parking was a total of $40 for us over the weekend, which if you're not a California native, you might flinch at that. But as someone who lived in San Francisco at some point in her life, I'm like, yeah, that's pretty standard. <laughs> but between parking and the booth fee, those are the only expenses we really have to cover this weekend. And no, I don't count food for two reasons. One, it was my birthday this weekend, so I'm gonna eat whatever I want, guilt-free. And also like, I'm gonna eat anyway. <laughs> like, do you count your food when you eat for lunch, like on Monday? If you do, you're you're very budget friendly. That's That's actually kind of admirable, but we don't do that. Um, I also like to think food comes out of Cody's salary from his other day job, so. We like to eat, okay? <laughs> this venue is only about 40 minutes away from where we're based, so of all the night markets we do, this is the most convenient one in terms of commute. I was very easily able to cover all of my expenses and then some in multiples, so this event was very much worth our time, especially when you pair it with the fact that I also did Lodi Comic Con on Saturday, which if you wanna see that, that will be coming out next week. So keep an eye out for that vlog and you can find out how I handled a double event weekend. Here's um, a hint, I didn't handle it very well, but we did it. <laughs> People were really generous with tips at this show. So basically tips canceled out card fees. So that's really nice. That being said, when I compare the transactions from this May show to the May show back in 2023, I actually had a, num a total of 20 fewer transactions than I did. And I think that's for several reasons. I do think this foodie line was a little bit less busy than it was a year ago. There's also the Dixon May Fair happening the same weekend. So I think that plays into it. Then another reason for that is as a whole, I have noticed 2024, my transaction numbers are fewer and that may be because of economy or that may be because of my new merchandise. I mostly sell apparel now, as opposed to before I used to sell keychains, stickers, and uh, pins, but I've gotten rid of keychains and pins and I mostly do like stickers and apparels and prints. So since then, my um, number of total transactions has gone down, but my average individual sale number has gone up by like a crap ton. So like this event, even though there were fewer transactions, the average sale is very high compared to other events that I've been a part of. I had a pretty standard number of tote bag deals, which if you're not familiar, a tote bag deal basically means a purchase of $75 or higher, you get a free tote bag with me. And so for a three day weekend, it's pretty standard, but those purchases were like, it wasn't just like 75, it was like $100 plus. So people, when they, I've noticed this about Foodie Land Sacramento, Cal Expo, when they like your stuff, they will, they will, they love it. Like they, they'll give you their money and they'll be very kind about it. Let's talk some observations now. This is less data and more about just experiences and conversations. Um, so first off, I noticed that this is very much the general audience. Now, if you are an artist, you don't typically target the general audience. You typically target a very niche market. So for example, you draw animals. You might target like pet expos or you draw anime. You're gonna target anime conventions. Foodieland Cal Expo is the general audience. And I, this was confirmed to me because I've done this three times, but mostly by the fact that people are so confused by what my mystery bags are but like in a good way. They're like, wow, I get all these things for free and I don't know what it is. What a novel concept, which if you're in the anime world, like, you know, gotcha and blind boxes are like totally standard. But um, this was really new to a lot of people, which is why I sold as many of them as I did. I had to make several more Saturday night because I ran out. It's very much the general audience. If your audience is super niche, I highly recommend you avoid this show. I used to think my audience was pretty niche, but I think since adding apparel, I appeal to a much broader audience than I realized before. Um, but yes, if the general audience is not your crowd, don't touch the show with a 10 foot stick. You're not gonna enjoy your experience to be honest. Another thing is we got great placement. So both times back in 2023, uh, I don't have any, an access to a map right now, but basically it's kind of like a, a misshapen rectangle. So we've got like a rectangle here with like a little circle attached to it. And there's three different sections for merchandise vendors. You can be up here, you can be down here, or you can be a part of like this circle over here where they're seating and eating and stuff like that. 
we the first two years were over here towards this side of the map which is one of the slower portions for traffic it also gets really dark over there in the evening which is why in the afternoons it's a little busy because there's more shade so people are hanging out there but overall for the whole show you really want to be over here in the second half especially because if you see in my videos there's a lot of shade that they've added in the past year and it's really nice over there and busy we were pretty close to that i mentioned before we beat both shows from last year by a significant number a number that makes me pretty happy and tempts me to come back for sure that being said most people were disappointed by sales this weekend and just by this show in general. I don't meet many people who say Foodie Land Sacramento is a good show. And I don't know, if you watched my September vlog, I don't know if I emphasize that enough. This might be a good show for me, but I don't know how many other people recommend this show. <laughs> Maybe like I have two or three friends who are like, yeah, we'll be coming back out of like, you know, the hundred merchandise vendors who are there. Like most of them are not super happy with their sales. Um, if they do return, it's like just barely enough to tempt them. Whereas the people who don't come back are like pretty adamant about like, I don't like the show. <laughs> My goal is always to do better than I did before. So I'm very happy this weekend. That being said, I do wonder if I've kind of reached <laughs> the cap for this show. Like, I don't know if I come back next year, if I'll be able to beat that number, I might just be able to match it. Do I recommend this? Everyone's favorite answer, right? It depends. Like, <laughs> here, I made a little checklist. And if these apply to you, I would say give it a try. But I won't, that's how, that's how I'm going to leave. I'm going to say give it a try and then you'll find out. If this checklist does apply to you and you are curious, I would say give it a shot. But come in with low expectations because then you won't be disappointed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this vlog because I really enjoyed this weekend. Only someone like me, a toxic overachiever, would spend her 30th birthday doing two events at once, but I had fun. I have no regrets. I have more money, so that's my birthday gift to myself. The next vlog you can expect from me is Lodi Comic Con. My next event is 626 Night Market in Pleasanton, the Bay Area one. And then the weekend after that, you can find me at MomoCon for my first out-of-state convention. If you want to see more of my actual art, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. If you're interested in shopping with me in person, I have a list of all my upcoming events in 2024. The link is in the description. If you can't shop with me in person, but you want to shop online, my online shop is also linked in the description below. If you enjoy videos like this i release them on a weekly basis every friday at nine o'clock in the morning so make sure to subscribe turn the notifications on i hope to see you in the next vlog thank you so much for watching bye i have a lot to do so i need to get to work i guess i'll go put my bra away it's kind of weird